Hey guys, it's Jush ASMR. And today I thought I'd do something a little different. And um, I'm going to be folding my laundry. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stuff to get done today. So, and doing my laundry was one of them. So I thought, okay, I could just uh, fold my laundry and make a video at the same time. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll try to point the microphone more towards me. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm just probably just gonna talk about random stuff and oh gosh, talk about some random stuff while I fold my laundry, so, yeah, so, how have you guys been doing, oh man, the wind, be careful, I gotta be careful putting down these, uh, these clothes, specific way of folding my laundry uh, my towels I first of all I have tiny towels as people have told me um, but I grew up just using these when I was younger, because my mom only bought these kinds of towels, so they're all I have. So these towels, there's like an inseam here and I always want to fold that like to the inside. And then I fold the like the part that has the two loose ends, I fold them in. And then I fold it in half. This one's kind of messy. Oops. I'll fold my pants. I just fold them, I just fold them in half. So my shirt, I have a special way to fold them. First I like line it up so it's like nice and straight. See I did my laundry yesterday and then I forgot I put my laundry in the dryer. So now when I'm filming this video, it's the next day. And my clothes have been in the dryer for the night. So I have wrinkly clothes. But I grab the corner here and then I grab the middle and then I grab the bottom again. And then I fold it like that. Oh God, I messed up. This t-shirt's a little odd because these seams don't really line up with this this top seam. So it's always gonna be off a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, some t-shirts are just, I think, I think it's like the cut of the t-shirt makes it like that, but I don't know. So what am I doing today? I'm, I have to do my taxes. Oh gosh, tax day is tomorrow and I have to do my taxes today. Oh gosh, I should stop doing that. I gotta do my taxes today. Oh my God, I did it again. I gotta do my taxes today and I'm not looking forward to it because since I have so many different jobs on and off, I have so many W-2s and I have this new thing called a 1099 and it's just so many forms I have to fill out. It's not great. It's not great at all. But I actually did get some news on a potential another job, but we'll see how that pans out. Um, never know with my industry until you're actually there working and then usually you get to stay for a little bit, but Who knows? Honestly, it's been tough out here. Finding jobs and making money. But it's okay. It's okay. We're all still alive. We're all still here, right? What else did I, what else have I been doing? I actually interviewed for um, a, like just like a part-time job at a subway shop called Jersey Mike's. And I, I got the job, but I actually turned it down because Honestly, I worked at a subway shop before and I just forgot how stressful that is. <laughs> it's it's like a subway shop where like you make the sandwich in front of the customer and uh, like customers constantly looking at you while you make it and like whatever, I'm fine with that, but the real issue was the boss was a little let's just say let's just say she was a little testy <laughs> and she wasn't like mean to me specifically but she would like talk about me to she, I don't know she would talk about me to like the other and like the other employees there and I, there was this one time where I was like doing all the things you know the, like they were training me and I was doing all the things right I didn't mess up and then I was um, standing at the cashier waiting for the like the next customer in line to come like right down to me and check out. So I was like kind of stand, standing there and then looking up at the menu because I was trying to like memorize the menu. And then like at that very moment that boss like walks over to a different employee who was like training me and she was like, you can't have him just stand there and, and, and do nothing. 
but I was literally working like five seconds ago, like, okay, 10 seconds ago, let's say like literally 10 seconds ago. And I was looking at the menu to try to memorize the menu. So I was like being proactive, but she just like instantly got upset that I was standing there for like 10 seconds doing nothing. So honestly, I was like, that was when I knew I was like, okay, I don't think I should work here. But yeah, I was tempted to just for the money. Not that it was like highly paying, but I I haven't had like a I haven't had like any income for a little bit because I've been just working on my own projects and stuff like that. But hopefully, this job that I'm talking to pulls through. I've had so many jobs where. All we do is talk about the work and then it just falls through, unfortunately. How are you guys doing, whoever's watching me? My last video got like no views, <laughs> which is expected, honestly. Because I have not been a good YouTuber, but it's kind of tough making videos while you're searching for a job, you know? Oh my goodness, these pants are so wrinkled. Alright, I'm going to try to fold these on the ground because I think... These pants are way too crinkly on the table. I gotta line them up. Okay, that looks better. My girlfriend, when she, one time she was over and I was doing my laundry, and I, and, um, I asked her if she could help me, like, fold my clothes, right? And she started, she started doing it, and then I just told her to stop. <laughs> the way she folds her clothes is, like, so haphazard. Like, I, I like it. I like to fold my clothes so that, like, I don't see any wrinkles like that, you know? You know, no wrinkles on my t-shirts or my pants, but she just goes, like, <laughs> she just, like, does it in, like, one second, and then she's like, okay, I'm done. And I'm like, huh? And like none of the seams are matching up. She just like she might as well just like not have she might as well not have folded them, honestly. See this shirt also actually hold on. Oh wait, it's backwards. Actually, the shirt's okay. Sometimes the seam on the side, it really bothers me, as you guys can tell. The seam on the side, like, does not go straight down the shirt. Like, straight, and like, it's like at an angle. I think cheap shirts are like that, or it's the cut. But, when you're folding them, it does, it does not help. But maybe people don't care how they fold their laundry, which is completely fine. It's just my preference.
This shirt I got when I was on a film film job. It's called it's called the Tender Bar. And it was actually a film if you guys want to look it up. I worked on this film. It was shot in Boston. And it has or George Clooney, an old timer famous guy um, he directed it and Ben Affleck started it so this shirt was actually from Ben Affleck there was like a little uh, sorry there's something like on the shirt oh what is that Some lint. Um, yeah, there's a little name tag attached to this shirt. And it had a Ben Affleck's signature on it. And it said, thank you for a, I forget what, like a, a wonderful production or something like that. And yeah. I don't remember where I put that tag, but I can say that I got Ben Affleck's signature. And I think he was filming this film a while, um, while uh, he started dating his new wife or something. Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. J-Lo, I think. I should just fold these in half. Yeah, you guys should search up the. You guys should actually watch the movie. It's like a. It's nothing special, but it's like a cute, heartfelt kind of film, I think. And I worked on it so you guys could see my name in the credits. I think I'm under my Korean name. I think I'm under like Ju Young Nam, I think. Yeah. Okay, I have a bunch of socks. I'll put them on the table here. of this stuff is like my athletic clothing so I don't fold that except for this I can fold that after okay oh. but yeah working on that film was it was fun that was like I think that was like the first film that I actually ever worked on fully I had worked on like a couple days here and there on other films but that was like my first real film job so that was cool and the shirt's nice, so. It's my bandana. Oh yeah, I've been playing. I've been trying to be more active. So I, I, I played a lot of um, Ultimate Frisbee, if you guys heard of it. I don't know where you guys are from, but I know it's big, like, in the West Coast, or the East Coast, I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been, I played Ultimate Frisbee when I was um, in high school pretty competitively and then I was like pretty good. Um, I won some, I won a champion, like a national championship. But then um, I went to college, I stopped playing and uh, you know, I gained a lot of weight, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> but now I've been actually trying 
pretty hard to get back into it. Um, I sustained an ankle injury recently though. Um, just like a mild, oh no, sprain, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if it was like a sprain. It, it, my ankle's swollen right now. But um, it's like getting better, so. I recently tried out for a team last no I tried out for a team two days ago actually yeah um last Saturday well it feels like that was like a week ago <laughs> but um because I've, I've done a lot of things right during the past two days but yeah I tried out for a team um I don't think I did that well not that i like performed poorly i don't think but i kind of just like performed like i don't know i didn't do anything like crazy i didn't like show off or anything i wish i could have but i don't know i did i, I wasn't really able to i think the opportunity wasn't there unfortunately these are two different socks I guess I wore them together accidentally, so I'm just gonna fold them. Um, but yeah, I've been doing that. It's actually been really fulfilling for my life. Honestly, I I forgot how much I enjoyed like playing like organized sports and being active and like being part of a team. Honestly, because the team I tried out for a lot of my high school um, like friends that I pl did that were on my team when I played in high school like they're on that team so like it brought back a lot of memories and I I don't think I'll get invited to like the the second round of tryouts but um I don't know there's like probably like a really tiny chance but I hope I do and if I do then I'll like really like train really hard because I think the second round is in like three weeks but I have other tryouts to go to so that'll be fun but honestly like oh i have one more pair of pants honestly um i really wish i could be on that team or my my goal is to just like be a practice player for them so i can just learn and get better but i think even that is like pretty com pretty competitive Um, okay, last, last thing is my sweater. Just fold it on the ground here. There's not much space on the table. Here we go. is that yeah, okay so the rest of my clothes these my athletic clothing just like yeah I just throw them in a bin so I don't fold them because I mean it's like I don't even know what this material is polyester I don't know silk it's it's not def obviously it's not silk but like kind of like feel it you know what I, you know what I mean like it's like silky um so even if you fold it like it doesn't matter And yeah, that's it. Okay, thank goodness I didn't lose a sock. I guess there was one mismatching sock, but. Okay. Well, that was that. Um, yeah, hope you, hope you guys have a good day. I have to go do my taxes now. Um, yeah, gotta do my taxes. Got to, what else? I gotta talk to that person who is offering me 
a potential job. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, I gotta prep my my girlfriend's birthday present, which is tomorrow. Don't tell her. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll probably be finishing Proverbs on my next video. Hopefully it will be soon. And yeah, have a good night. Um, hope you guys are relaxed and feel um, at peace. Hope you guys did your taxes already. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Peace.